Hey guys, welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about the Collapse Portable Shower and why we always have it in the car with us. And if you stick around till the end, we got a special promo code for you that you can use at collapse.com and get a discount of your own portable shower. But if you want to see how we use it, stick around and we'll show you all that. Now, a lot of you might know that we have a little cocker spaniel called Bella. And just like every other cocker spaniel out there, she loves the water. So she will find every opportunity to get in the water, whether it's a stream, muddy puddle, you name it. She gets dirty on pretty much every walk we go on. Of course, being like that is absolutely fine. Dogs will be dogs, so she needs to go out and play and have fun. But when it comes to putting her back in the car or in the house, it does get really messy. She's leaving muddy paw prints everywhere on the sofas, the carpets, and that's not really what you want. And we think we have a solution, which means Bella can enjoy being a dog when we're out on the walks, and it means we can keep the car clean and the house clean when we go back. So we actually tried to make our own shower from parts that we got on eBay, believe it or not, and it worked kind of okay. It was a bit cumbersome. You can see some of the shots here. It's not really the most aesthetically pleasing system. It was a little bit loud. The pressure was a bit on the extreme side, but one day we were watching YouTube and shout out to Gavin from uh, Get Out With The Kids. Uh, he did a review on this shower unit, the Collapse shower unit, and we were like, we gotta, we gotta try this out. Uh, this looks fantastic. It had all the benefits that we wanted and none of the drawbacks of our current system. So we reached out to Collapse and asked if we could have a review unit to test out and uh, do a video on. And amazingly, they agreed. So thank you very much to the team at Collapse for sending that out to us. So let's get into the shower and the stats and tell you what it comes with. Well, right off the bat, the box looks pretty good. It's still branded with a Collapse logo. And in there, you've got the little bag that it comes with. So everything is neatly packaged in its carrying case. First up, we got the shower handle with the shower head attachment. Uh, there's another attachment you can put at the end of this if you prefer. Next up, it's the trigger head, which is the one that we use by far the most because you can control the flow of water. Here, we've got the battery and a USB-A charging cable, along with some replacement O-rings. Arguably the main piece of the system, the pump, and the connector that it has on the other end to connect to the battery. The two meter hose, which is more than long enough for the things that we use it for. And this little piece here, which is a hanging hook or a suction cup to use in conjunction with the shower head. And all of that stuff, comes packed in this little carrying case, which we always keep in the car, and it's a much better solution than what we had before. Yeah, this is what we had before. It's not good. Now, let's talk a little bit about the stats and things that you should expect about the shower. It comes with its very own battery, which is USB powered, and it takes about two and a half hours to charge from complete empty and it will last you anywhere between 45 and 60 minutes. And if I'm not mistaken, we've actually only charged it twice so far, and we've been using it for quite a while. The flow rate of the system is three liters a minute, which is plenty enough to be able to wash your dogs and perhaps like a lot of equipment that you might have. And the temperature of the water that the system can take can be anywhere between zero degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, which is fantastic because we can have warm water when we're washing Bella and it's gonna be a much more pleasant experience for her. Now, one of the things that doesn't come with this is a water container and Collapse do sell quite a few different variations of the system, including water containers, but we just didn't find one that suited us for this kind of application of having a water container in the car. So we actually went out and bought this water container from a camper van store. It was under a tenner, so quite cheap, and it holds 10 liters of water, which is more than what you're gonna need for a dog walk or even washing your dog and your shoes when you come back from a walk. Now, the most important thing when you're looking for one of these is to make sure that the opening here is big enough to accommodate the pump. Um, so make sure when you're looking for a container to suit your needs, 
this is big enough to fit the pump. All right, so let's get into our thoughts about the system and all the pros and cons. So in our time of using the portable shower, uh, here's a few things that we found that we would like to see perhaps improved for the next version. Uh, the first one is a battery indicator on the battery, so you know how much charge you've got left. The second thing is if there was a waterproof um, area for the battery to live in. Our solution to that is we have the battery in a little Ziploc bag that's kind of waterproof, so it will never get uh, water damaged. Uh, but it'll be fantastic if in a new generation they kind of include that as part of the kit. Everything else has been fantastic. The unit is quiet. Uh, it's nowhere near as loud as the pump that we were using before. In fact, I think you can barely hear it when it's being used, especially when it's in the container. Uh, the pressure is great for washing a dog, which is what we mainly use it for. I'm sure it'll be enough pressure to be able to wash down a tent or any other sporting equipment that you're using, say you went surfing or a kayak or something like that. I think the best thing for us is how small it packs down and how neatly it's all organized and the fact that we can keep all that in the car without really taking up any space at all. We've also recently discovered that on Collapse's website, you can buy individual replacement parts. So if you've lost a battery or if you've split the hose or something like that, you can actually go and buy the part that you need rather than having to buy a whole unit from scratch. Now, having this unit with us in the car, it means whenever we're out for dog walks with Bella, she can go and be a dog. She can go get as muddy as she wants in ponds and puddles and whatever she finds. And when we're at the beach, she can go and roll in the sand, it doesn't matter. We, I, I used to get stressed. Now, you know, you've seen my videos, you know how I get stressed. I used to get stressed when she would get like that because I knew how difficult it would be having to wash her when we get back in the car. But having this with us now, I don't really care how muddy she is because it's quite easy to wash her when we're back in the car. So we come back to the car, open up the boot and attach the carabiner, which is at the end of our lead to the boot latch. Now, Anna custom made this lead and she did a YouTube tutorial for it. Uh, which you can find the link to that on the top right of the screen. Now, the reason we attach the lead to the back of the car is so that Bella doesn't run free around the car park and it means our hands are free to be able to get everything else set up as well. So the next thing we'll do is take the jerry can out and unscrew the lid so it's ready for the pump. Next up, take the shower unit out of its bag, uh, connect the pump to the battery and also connect the other end to the trigger unit. So with the battery connected and the hose connected, it means you can go and place the pump in the jerry can or whatever water container that you're using. Now, because we're using the trigger head, it means that water doesn't start flowing out straight away, which is good for us because we don't want to get everything wet. But if you're using something like the shower head, the moment you turn on that pump, water will start flowing, which is something to bear in mind. Okay, so we got everything set up. All we gotta do next is just wash Bella down. And that really depends how mad she walk. Sometimes we might just do her paws or just her legs. Sometimes we might do her whole body if she's been rolling in fox poo. Gosh, she rolls in fox poo a lot. But it doesn't really matter because you got so much water in the jerry can that you can wash down your dog two or three times over. So it's okay. All right, so Bella is now nice and clean. So all we gotta do next is towel her down a little bit and for that, we just use an uh, old towel that we had. It's nice and small so we can keep it in the car. Nothing fancy, really. But after that's done, what we have is this really funny uh, dog bathrobe. I find it really funny. I think it makes her look like a Jedi slash Doctor Strange, that kind of vibe. And uh, that we actually bought from Amazon. And if you like the look of it, we've got a affiliate link in the description below. So go check that out. And the benefits of uh, putting this on her is that she's gonna be a little bit warmer, a little bit cozier. So when she's in the crate, especially if we have a long journey to home, uh, she's not gonna get too cold and she's gonna definitely be a bit more comfortable on the way home. And by doing all those steps, it means that the car stays cleaner and there's no faff when you go home because you can just let your dog straight in and they're nice and clean. So no muddy dog prints on the sofas. 
Usually it's not just pedal that needs to get clean when we've been for a muddy walk, it's also our boots so we don't get the car dirty and this works fantastically well for that too. As you can see, we can completely wash down our boots so when we go back in the car, uh, the, the car stays nice and clean. And as much as I hate to admit it, sometimes we bring Crocs with us. Yep, yeah, we, are, we wear Crocs, yep, okay, let's move along. But the reason we have the Crocs with us is so that we can take our boots off and give our feet a rest, especially if it's been a long walk. Having said that, there's so many more things you can use the shower for, uh, potentially, and we're gonna be testing that out at some point. Uh, you can hook it up to the car and actually have a shower, like yourself, when you're camping. Not gonna be trying that today, but maybe in the future we'll give it a go. Uh, you could also use it to uh, wash down a bicycle if you've been cycling, uh, any other sporting equipment like canoes, kayaks, that kind of stuff. And we know at least one person, Anna's dad, that wants one of these for fishing, so he can wash down his fishing equipment when he comes back to the car. Now, as you can see, it's quite a versatile system, and I'm sure you'll have plenty of things that you can do with it. Uh, if you actually have any cool ideas, let us know in the description below because we would like to know what kind of things that uh, you might be using one for. If that video made you interested in buying one, we have affiliate links that you can use. Uh, they're in the description below. All it means is that you can buy whatever you want from Collapse and we make a small percentage of commission, which is a really nice way to support this channel and allow us to make more of these videos. And guess what guys, we actually have a promo code. Uh, you can get 5% off anything from Collapse.com. We know, we're pretty cool like that. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we showed you a few things that we do and perhaps inspired you to do the same, make your dog walks a little bit easier. If you have any feedback for us or any questions about the unit, please write them in the comments below and we're gonna make sure we answer everything. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. But obviously not so powerful that it's gonna hurt her and you know, you know, you know, I don't need to tell, I, in fact, you know. All right, we're done? Yeah, good, you know. I'll, I'll go now. And that's our process, and that's it. So that's all. Thank you very much, that's.